Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Iman. For this Sunday's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this really pretty, sweet makeup with a little bit of pink shimmer on the eyes, but taking it up a notch by adding this bold lip. You could always switch the lip color if you want, and this look is super quick and easy to do. So let's get started. So I'm starting with the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Magic Cream. I'm going to be doing a little bit more skincare in my videos at the beginning because I want to show you guys what skincare products I'm using and loving. So this cream is great if you have more of a drier skin type. But if you are oily, this might be a little bit too heavy for you. I use that to prep my skin, but I'm also using this Spackle Blur Stick from Laura Geller. I love this in areas that I have shine and also in areas where my pores look really large. It really helps with that. For foundation today, I'm using the La Mer Soft Fluid Liquid Foundation. This is a pretty medium cover foundation. It has a really nice dewy texture. So you could see that it kind of looks a little bit wet on my skin and it doesn't really matte down. It stays dewy. But if you don't like that look of a really matte finish on your skin, this foundation might be a great option for you because it definitely has that dewy texture. For concealer, I am using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers because it's nice and thick. I love thick concealers like this, but it doesn't feel heavy on and it's super easy to blend. So even though you're getting a ton of coverage, it's not going to crease, it's not going to look heavy. The colors are great. There, there are so many shades to choose from and I'm using the Fenty Beauty sponge to blend it out. The Fenty Beauty sponges are actually some of my favorite sponges right now. I definitely recommend them. For eyeshadow today, I'm using the Bomb Cosmetics Meat Matchmaker Palette. I'm starting off with this neutral color all over my lid as a base. This palette has a bunch of beautiful colors and the colors come in a shimmer and a matte shade. So there's the corresponding shimmer shade to every matte color. So it makes it super easy to use. And then I'm going in with this warm ready brown in my crease and taking that from corner to corner. I love these neon brushes. I just got these. They are from BH Cosmetics. They come in a set. All the brushes in the set are so good. I'm going to link it for you guys in the description box if you want to check them out. And I'm just taking this color and really building it. So I'm going back and forth and adding more and blending and then adding more and blending, but really trying to keep it in the crease. Then I'm taking that corresponding shimmer color and I decided to wet my brush using a little bit of Fix Plus to get that shimmer really pigmented. And now I'm using one of the flat shader brushes from the BH Cosmetics brush set. And I'm packing that shade just on my lid up to my crease. I don't want to take it up too high. And I'm adding a pop just in the inner corner. And then I'm going in with one of my favorite lashes. These are from Ardell. These are the Demi Wispy lashes. These are just go to lashes. They work with almost every makeup look and these are perfect for a little bit of contour i'm using the nars radiant creamy concealer in the shade amand this is a nice dark tone and this blends out beautifully this is one of my favorite ways to do a cream contour and contouring is a great way to just give shape to your face to make sure my makeup lasts, I'm setting my entire face with the Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm using this puff to really help press that powder in and kind of melt it into your skin. For brows, I'm using the IT Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil. This is a universal color. There's only one shade. The shade pretty much works on everyone. So if you're kind of new to makeup and you don't know which brow pencil to get, this is a great option because it'll work for you. It's a great color, you guys. It honestly works on everyone. I love that this pencil has a spoolie on one end so you don't even need an eyebrow brush and it has a great texture to it because it just keeps your brows in place. Don't forget to add a little bit of mascara to your lower lashes to help balance out the eye look. And for bronzer, I'm using the Buxom Hot Escapes 
bronzer this is such a pretty color bronzing up your skin for a look like this especially when you're doing a dark lip is really important just so you could have a little bit of dimension to your face i'm using this bronzer more like a contour i'm also using another product from buxom their wonderlust primer infused blush i will include the shades for you guys below i love this kind of rosy pink shade it's going to go beautiful with the eyes and beautiful with the lip color and i'm just popping that on the apples of my cheeks and then for lips, I'm starting with this lippy pencil from ColourPop. This is nice and dark. It's darker than the lipstick that I'm gonna use, which is perfect. When you're doing a dark lip like this, I really recommend starting with a lip liner. It will make your life so much easier. This lip liner is gonna help create that perfect defined shape and then you could just go in with the lipstick and just fill in and it's super easy so the lip liner does most of the work you can get a really defined precise line and get that shape to be exactly how you want it to look i always like to fill in a little bit as well but i'm actually going to fill in quite a bit because i want the pigment underneath the lipstick to be really dark. So I'm gonna fill in my entire lip with the lip pencil and then go over it with the lipstick. The lipstick that I'm using is from Bare Minerals. This is such a gorgeous, stunning color, you guys. I absolutely love it. And what I like to do is I like to go in with the tube and then again, to get just that really super precise shape, I'm going back in with a lip brush to make sure that color is perfect. And then to clean up the lip, I'm taking a little tiny brush with a bit of concealer and I'm using that to clean up the edges of my lip. So this is going to create that perfect shape. You guys could see like that bottom lip looks so precise. And then I just buff everything out with a clean brush. And that's how I get the perfect application for a dark lipstick. Last step here, I'm adding this beautiful, beautiful highlighter. I love this one. I'm applying a ton of it on top of my cheekbones, then the bridge of my nose, and then adding a pop in the inner corner. That is how I create this soft, pretty look with a bit of pink shimmer on the eyes and this dark, bold lip. Of course, you guys could do any lip color that you want. Be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. If you're new to my channel, I post a new beauty tutorial every single Sunday. And if you guys want to see a lot more, be sure to add me on Instagram as well at Iman. Leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think of this look. I love reading all of your comments. And I will see you guys next next Sunday with a brand new tutorial.